In this video, the iPhone 14 Pro Max was caught slipping as it started lagging when on that heavy load. Like, this is crazy. Let's dive in. So last week I saw one of the most surprising things ever which I'm really surprised that big tech YouTubers like MKBHD and Mr. Who's the Boss haven't really made a video about it. So we all know how iPhones are regarded as the phones with the most powerful processors which obviously if you look at the benchmarks, the rankings and how they handle one time tasks such as video editing, you would come to the conclusion that they are just the most powerful which you wouldn't be totally wrong if you said so. I mean the latest iPhone 14 Pro Max has the A16 Bionic chip which is the most powerful smartphone chipset out there but why is the iPhone lagging? Like no joke in-depth reviews did a multitasking performance test on the iPhone 14 Pro Max which is regarded as one of the if not the most powerful smartphone on earth was lagging so there are three reasons why I think this happened. Firstly, the best chipset doesn't really mean the best performance. Now, I know this sounds really dumb, but wait, hear me out. Now, if a device has the best or a top level flagship chipset, then you'll get some of the best performance out there, no doubt. Now, it will blaze through whatever you put it through and it will run games very well, all that good stuff. But for a device to get the best performance ever, the device has to be set up in a way that is focused majorly on performance. Now, that's the reason why gaming phones that don't use Apple's chipsets, which are the best chipsets out there, still give the best performance, simply because those phones are a bit more focused on performance than Apple which focuses on the user experience. Now even though yes the Galaxy S23 Ultra is not a gaming phone, it has every capability of becoming one because it has some tweaks that can make it get some of the best stable performance, it has a more temperature stable chipset which prevents overheating which is why even after 9 minutes when the iPhone started lagging the Galaxy was still okay. Now the second reason why this happened is software optimization. Now Android and iOS are two different operating systems focused on two different things. Apple's iOS is focused on giving you the best user experience on the app that you are currently using or in other words one app at a time and that's the reason why Apple by default doesn't allow you to do things that would require you to use more than one app at a time. Things like split screen, multiple floating apps, Apple doesn't support them. It's also the reason why if you're posting something on Instagram and you leave the app on iOS, whatever you're posting would be on hold till you go back to the Instagram app. So the software is optimized to focus on one app at a time like I said whereas on Android it's completely the opposite stuff and it's not about RAM which I'll get to in a few but it's simply because Android software optimization is designed to run as many apps as possible both in the foreground and in the background which is why you can have up to 4 to 5 apps running at the same time and your phone won't crash as opposed to the iOS. If you watch the video which I'll leave down in the description so that you can watch it right after watching this one, notice that they had like 4 major apps running in the background while screen recording at the same time. And last but not the least, iPhones don't have enough RAM. This, I mean... This, this this has been an issue right from time and people have always said no iPhones are okay they don't need more RAM for gosh sakes look at the video like the iPhone was literally stuttering like so bad that even the Pixel 6 Pro that doesn't have a processor as powerful as the 14 Pro Max was not lagging as bad as that simply because it has more RAM RAM is very important especially when it comes to performance like right after the processor the next thing you should focus on is the RAM like for instance in this video the iPhone has 6 gigabytes of RAM that even my Galaxy S9 plus from 2018 has but Galaxy S23 Ultra here has between 12 to 16 gigabytes of RAM like how do you expect it to lag with that amount of RAM that's like three times the RAM of the iPhone and S23 Ultra has a great processor that is not even as powerful as the one on the iPhone but simply because it has the RAM to back it up it will perform way better every time every day so I think Apple needs to add a bit more RAM even if it's only to their pro models like imagine having an iPhone 14 Pro Max that has 16 gigabytes of RAM like how crazy would that be. So we're coming to the end of this video. Tell me what you think about every single thing I've said down in the comment section. All the links will be down in the comment section. My name is Max and I'll see you next time. Violence.